I've been using NMR as our main tool uh, to study HIV structural biology. With some of our studies, we've been able to develop new ways of inhibiting HIV. We look at uh, proteins from influenza uh, and from mycobacterium tuberculosis, and we focus on looking at uh, drug targets uh, hopefully characterizing them and understanding how they function so that maybe a better drug can be developed. One major part of my research is devoted to developing new methods in NMR spin relaxation. This work requires and is driven by access to the latest technology, the latest generation of consoles, probes, and magnets. So one of the proteins for influenza that we've been looking at is called the M2 proton channel. This is a channel that's in the viral coat that allows protons to flow into the interior of the virus particle. And if you block it, you prevent infection. But throughout the history of NMR spectroscopy, each step to a higher and higher magnetic field has opened up new opportunities, and I think this is going to continue. We're collecting data that we can interpret at 800 megahertz that I don't think would be possible uh, on our 600 megahertz magnets. And so higher field, higher signal-to-noise, better resolution, those kinds of things are likely to uh, really help us.